guys and welcome back for another crochet tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really adorable newborn baby mittens. These are perfect for the little baby who scratches their face and are a great gift for a baby shower or a new mother. So I'm using this really super soft um, baby yarn that I got from Walmart and I will have the links to what yarn I used over at my blog so you can check that out down below and also a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So I'm going to start off with a magic circle and if you want to watch this over and over to see how exactly I did that, if you can't do it, which it is a little bit difficult and took a lot of practice, believe me, I could not do it for a long time, then you can always just chain three and then slip stitch to make it into a little ring and then do the 10 double crochets into the center of that. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing 10 double crochets, so I will do that inside my magic circle. So, the pattern for this will be over at my blog, so I encourage you to go over to my blog and follow along. Um, I find it a lot easier and it will help you learn how to read patterns if you are a beginner. So it is charmed by Ashley, I think blogspot.com, but like I said, all those links will be down and there will be a link directly right to the actual pattern. Okay, so now once you have all your 10 double crochets, you're just going to cinch up your magic ring. And then you're going to put your hook back in and then do a slip stitch to complete the round. Sometimes when you do a magic ring the tail ends up being really long so um, definitely just chop it a little bit shorter just so you don't get confused because there's been times when I've started crocheting again with the tail. <laughs> you, believe me you don't get very far with the tail. Okay, so now you have 10 stitches and we are going to do an increase round next. So you're going to chain two and then we're going to do two double crochet into every single stitch. And you will have 20 stitches when you are finished. So you'll be doubling the stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to speed this up for you and then you can go ahead and pause the video and come back when you have your 20 stitches. Okay, <clears throat> so now you're just going to slip stitch at the end of the row into the chain 2 and this will complete round 2. So now we're going to do one more increase row and that will be two double crochets into the first stitch so I did the chain two that will count as your first double crochet and then one double crochet into the next stitch sorry I just changed the camera angle to a better view so you're just gonna keep doing that two and then one and then two and then one until you have completed round three So like I said, this will be the last increase round. I'm just going to speed it up and I will meet you back when you are finished round three. Okay, so now we are on to round four. Round four will be just one double crochet into every single stitch. So at this point, you can basically just sit back, relax, watch some TV. Put Netflix on um, you're only gonna do one double crochet in every stitch and you're also going to be doing four rows in this way so it'll take you you know depending on how fast you go 15 minutes to half an hour to get this done and then we will work on sort of um, like the cuff in a way I guess you can call it Okay, so I've completed four more rows, all one stitch in each, and as you can see, now it is 
forming a mitten because we didn't increase it just starts to kind of you know turn into a sock in a way so now we're going to work on the cuff and we're going to be working with the half double crochets and this will be the row where we're going to put our ribbon so the first thing we're going to do is do your chain two and then one half double crochet into the next stitch and then chain one and then do and then skip a stitch and then half co double crochet into the next one and then another half double crochet and then chain one skip a stitch another half double crochet so you're just going to do this all the way to the end of the row And then we're going to work on round 10. So like I said, we're just creating the holes where the um, little ribbon or ties or whatever you have are going to sit. Okay, so we just slip stitch to the end of the row to complete the round. And as you can see, we have little spaces there. And then we are going to do um, another row of all half double crochets but when you get to those chain spaces we're just going to work right into those chain spaces so I'm just going to do a half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around Now when it comes to that row beforehand, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If it's a little bit complicated, you could technically just do a row of half double crochets and then weave the ribbon or tie through the, um, the stitches. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's still going to look good in the end, but this is just how I designed my pattern. But like I said, if it's a little bit too difficult, then definitely just do two half double crochets into this row or on um, for row um, 9 and 10 and it'll still look beautiful okay so now if we're gonna finish the edge so if you're making this for a little boy and you don't want it too frilly then you can just do um, a row of single crochets and then call it a day but if you want it a little bit more girly like this we're gonna do some shells all the way around and this just adds a little bit of, you know, frilly, curly cuteness. So the first thing I'm going to do is chain one. And then I'm going to do five double crochet or half double crochet, depending on what you prefer, into the third stitch. So you're going to skip a stitch. So if you do a half double crochet, it will be a little bit smaller if you do a double crochet the shell will be a little bit bigger so that's the only difference so once you have all five of your stitches in then you're going to skip a stitch and then do a single crochet into the next stitch and this is just going to tack it down so there's that beautiful shell and we're just going to be doing that um, five more times so I skipped a stitch and now I'm doing five double crochets into the next stitch and then skip a stitch and then tack it down again. And then once you are done that, then you can just do your last single crochet, which will be completing the row and then pass it off. So I have this um, very thin ribbon. I just got this from the fabric store. You can just use um, the yarn if you want to. You know, it's up to you. But if you're going to be using ribbon, make sure that you just singe the edges so that it doesn't fray. And then I'm just going to weave it through all those little holes that I created. So you can also, if you wanted to, 
um, sew in a little piece of elastic if you just wanted something to be like slipped over if you ha are able to sew. So there's many options to do this. So making sure my edges again are singed off, I'm just going to tie this in a cute bow and it's ready to give as a gift or to put on my baby. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit up my social media, my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I love to connect with my viewers. And um, yes, definitely go over to my blog to view the pattern and share, share, share. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.